Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to today's video and welcome to a very motivating all day clean with me. I'm pretty behind on my housework. We have all the things to do today, laundry, floor, showers, tubs. I want this house just like super clean so we can have a successful week and not worry about the mess. So if you're working with me, throw your hair up, make a nice coffee and let's go. I already have laundry started. I have a pretty insane laundry situation. So that's been going since I woke up. Every once in a while, I'll stop, fold a load, and then get back to everything else on my list. The first project we're going to tackle together is this master bathroom and a little bit of my closet, some things on the floor. I just cannot handle how messy and dirty it is in here. There is so much hair on the floor. It's gross, I don't know if you can tell. Of course, a ton of stuff on the vanity. And then I was looking at the shower this morning. There is that on the shower floor. Just so gross, so dirty, so unorganized. I have a lot to talk about in the voiceover. <laughs> things on the floor over there because I have a toddler and he likes to throw things everywhere. So let's make it as perfect as possible. All right guys, so let's start by scrubbing the shower and making it sparkly clean. Not too bad in here, obviously you saw the floor and a little bit of soap scum, but really that's it just because it's new. So, you know, luckily at this point there's not too much to worry about and I'm pretty obsessed with keeping up with these showers and tubs. I just feel like I should be at this point. It's a new house and I want to keep everything in as perfect condition as possible. So I'm all about making sure they look good, starting at the top, working my way down and I did forget to do a product shot of this but I'm using a scrubbing bubbles foaming shower cleaner I really like this and you can find it almost anywhere I'm scrubbing it with just a standard scrub brush I found at Walmart and then you know how I like to do it I like to go over everything with a towel a couple of times a wet towel so I can make sure there's no product sitting around and slowly eating away at the finish on the tile I want to make sure all of it is taken care of And very happy to report that this shower is a lot easier and a lot faster to clean than my shower at the old house. I just, I always like hated having to do that as many of you know, so very happy to report on that. I put all the products back in I will be using and then I also am going to put a new head on my razor and I have a new like holder for it. So I'm gonna stick that on there on the inside of the niche. That way everything is contained and it looks a little more neat and organized that way. Every day I feel love. I feel love. I feel love. 
and as you can hopefully see the tub is fine but I'm just going to wipe it down real quick anyways so I know everything is clean there were a few toys in there I need to put in Forrest's bathroom and I try and give him baths in his bathroom just so the toys are not like all over the house like the last house but sometimes I give him a bath in here because you guys know that baby always gets what he wants I'm wiping everything dry with a microfiber towel. Guys, this is literally the only microfiber towel I can find at the moment. I don't know where all of them are. I feel like there's only home decor and boxes, but there must be a towel box somewhere that I really need to find. So yes, I'm just wiping this tub down so we can move on to the real problem, the vanity. I will show you a before up close so you can see just how bad it is over here. I literally threw some hair on the floor from a hairbrush before I put it away because there is plenty more down there. I will sweep all of it up before I vacuum. I'm putting away some hair tools, skincare, some makeup, those baby toys I was talking about, accessories, obviously a little bit of everything. There's quite the collection here. It's starting to look so much better over here. I'm just Windexing a few things, the mirror, also the tray that goes between our sinks. I am in need of so many trays for different areas around the house. It just takes me a while to like find the right ones, even though there's so many out there. I don't know, I feel like it really is like a time consuming process. Sometimes they're too big, too little, not the right style. I'm on the hunt for those among many other things for this house. Windex seeing the shower door now. I still have to get that special shower door cleaner. I cannot remember what it's called, but like it helps to keep away the watermarks. It's on my list. While I was filming this, I started a list in my phone for like literally every room in the house, what I need to order for it. Such a process starting to get this house set up, but I know I will get there. All right guys, so just a couple more things to do in here before we can move on to the next project. I have some moving boxes in the middle of the room I'm going to take care of. A lot of things that go in my closet, so I'm just going to throw those in there for now and deal with it later. Put those boxes in my room. I'll take them downstairs in a little bit. I just put a fresh towel out, a hand towel on the vanity. I found a scale, put that behind the door, and then I'm going to gather up all that hair vacuum and mop and make this room just perfect and ready to go.
random thought but see that towel bar right there i'm thinking of getting bath towels with our monogram on them for decorative purposes to put on all of those towel bars and then putting hooks up for the towels we actually use i just prefer to have decorative towels on towel bars because if it's not like that then i feel like they always look kind of messy what do you guys think is that random is that weird or is that like the normal way to do it All right, and then the very last thing I'm doing is mopping the floor in here. And this is my new Black & Decker steam mop. I really, really like it. I did tell you guys before it comes with head attachments and I haven't used them yet. And that is still the exact same thing today. I really, really need to use those. Oh, actually, I think you can use it to clean your shower and shower grout. So I will add that to my list. But again, since that shower and shower grout are all new, there really isn't anything on there. However, one day, when there is, I'm so excited to use that. I've heard like steam mops and steam attachments for grout is life changing. So here is a look at our bedroom. Stuff literally everywhere. Let's start by picking up the floor, then I'll deal with those boxes. And I'm also going to take the sheets off my bed and wash those today. The start of my list for this room is I need acrylic and gold bars for curtains on those small windows that are going to hang all the way down. And then of course I need a dresser, I need a mirror, I really would like to paint the walls in here and then add um, some like painted white wood on at least the wall that our bed is on. So many things in so many rooms, you guys. I'm excited for like all the decorating we're gonna do together, but I also know it's gonna take a long time. So hopefully you guys are ready for that ride. I would love to just like snap my fingers and things be done, but we all know it does not work that way. I wanted to throw in the bedding from my bed just so it's done sooner than later. So I'm flipping laundry right now. I also have to get a duvet cover. I gave away our old one. It was like really heavy and good for winters, real winters, which we don't have anymore. So I need to get like a really fluffy and light one for my bed. Just putting the soap in that washing machine and then I'll head back into my bedroom and keep tackling everything on the floor. This is that lemon and coriander all-purpose spray from Target I shared in my last cleaning video. Really like it, and I'm just using it in here on the nightstands to dust them, wipe them down, and make sure they're all nice and clean. I put the pillows on the bed so I can deal with those later. I'm starting on one side of the bed, working my way around to the other side, and then we'll keep on cleaning from there. Still so 
so much stuff we need to get done together. So if you guys are cleaning with me, I hope you have a lot to do because I sure do. My bedroom is vacuumed and ready to go so let's move on and check on this laundry situation i had a lot of dirty laundry a lot of laundry that was or i thought was clean and then i had to rewash everything because tmi we found a pee pull up in the laundry and everything smelled like pee so mom life is so glamorous sometimes you guys so i put everything back on the floor and was just like all right i can't like one by one figure out what smells and what doesn't i just need to rewash everything so that is what i did today i swear it's the days where you have like so much on your list that things happen and even more is added but it's all right we got through it so i'm just getting everything out of the dryer right now and then i'll fold this load real quick And that was pretty quick and easy and painless. Having the windows in here, I swear, it just makes me want to be in here so much more. I'm so happy to finally have a laundry room with windows. Now we're moving on to the upstairs living room. A lot of you said I should call this the loft area, so I'm working on that. We still say upstairs living room. We have an empty juice box up here, random papers on the floor, and then I also wanted to vacuum one of the couches down because Forrest has been eating a lot of snacks over here, and I just want to deal with this before it gets too out of control. The couches are crumb free, the coffee table is wiped down, and now I'm doing a little bit of rearranging with the side table and the lamp. I still have it on the back wall from when one of the couches was over there, so I just wanted to move it to put it by the other one, that way the setup, it makes a little more sense this way. Still a lot of extra pillows up here and extra baskets, but a little bit here and there eventually it will be finished, you guys. Everything right now, as you know, is like half done or not done at all. Like we're done before we even started
So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't care. I did finally put away a few pillows in a hall closet that I don't plan on using for a while and then I'm gathering up everything by the stairs that I've accumulated to bring down there. So extra water glasses, empty sparkling water cans, things like that. And the last thing I need to do in this space is just vacuum. I've been vacuuming room by room and then plugging it in to charge the battery because I do like to use it on the turbo setting, like the highest setting, and it goes through the battery pretty quickly. And then once that is done, we can head downstairs and deal with so many different things down there. And this is my current shoe organization, so not great. I really need to get some organizers for the garage. That's where we're going to keep our shoes. And I'm trying to decide between a cabinet with doors that you open up or if I should get the tilt style where it's a drawer and it just like halfway opens. I just want something where they're like completely put away because I'm afraid of like putting my foot in a shoe and there being a bug. So that's why I need a door or a drawer. And then here's the before of the dining area and the kitchen. Not too bad. I did finally order some stools and then I'm going to measure for a table and the bench this afternoon and then order that today. So slowly but surely things are happening. Oh, and I ordered um, a couch for that living room. It did say 14 to 16 weeks, so I'm really hoping it's not going to take that long. But yeah, some furniture things will be here in a couple of days and you guys will see it in like the next video. Um, but some things are unfortunately going to take a while. So I'm just emptying everything off the island before I start wiping down this area. Starting to look pretty good over here, straightening up for his table. And then I just have a couple of things to deal with in the sink, his high chair tray, and I think a few more things. He still really likes sitting in his high chair for dinner so we can all sit together at the table. And then I typically feed him lunch at his table. So right now we are doing both. wiping down the other side of the kitchen counter now and I'm using a Meyer lemon spray from Williams Sonoma it's my first time ever buying a product on there for cleaning and I really like it oh I also have a dish soap and then a hand lotion at the sink from Williams Sonoma as well and I am rinsing out the little like foot thing for the coffee machine that you set your coffee cup on it gets a few drips in there every day so around once a week I just rinse it with warm water or soap if it's really bad and then pop it back on there And I completely forgot I bought this Clorox all-purpose cleaner. I am using this to wipe down our sink. I still need to get soft scrub or something else like a barkeeper's um, soap for this sink just to keep it sparkly clean. So I let that sit for a minute and then I rubbed it in and shined it right up. I did this a second time as well. I just want it as perfect as possible. And one of the things I added to my list of items to order 
for the house is a sink grate. I really want a grate to protect the sink, so hopefully it won't get all scratched up. The sink is looking pretty good, so now moving on to the appliances. I still don't have a stainless steel cleaner. I added that to my list, but if you have Windex, it actually works pretty great on stainless steel. So I'm just doing the microwave, the oven, the dishwasher, and the refrigerator, and then the kitchen is pretty much good to go for now, so we can move on to my office doors. I'm going to Windex those, and then we still have to do the bathroom, the playroom, vacuuming much much more you guys when i told you i had a lot to do today i obviously meant it I barely spend any time in the living room because it really isn't much of a living room right now, but here is the downstairs bathroom. So I'm going to do the shower in here, wipe down the vanity, and just make sure everything in this space is good to go as well. This is Chad's towel he told me for this week, and I was like, wait a minute, this is your towel for a couple of days. Please don't use this towel for an entire week. I need somewhere to like put towels in here. That's one thing that there really isn't any extra room for is extra towels. So here's the before. I'm going to get all the products out of there and then I'm using the same thing I used on my shower that's scrubbing bubbles, foaming shower spray. Same routine in here, just letting the product sit for about a minute, scrubbing it, rinsing it a little bit, wiping it down with a wet towel, rinsing the towel, and then wiping it down again. Whenever you guys see me clean showers, like almost every video, someone's like, please get a detachable shower head. Maybe I will, I don't know. I just, I always tell you, I like how it looks really neat and clean without it, but I know that it would be so much easier to clean the shower if I had one. Wake me from this tree I've been in I need to get in closer to you I swear you might exceed Oh baby, I've been waiting for you Now we are one step closer We're all in this together Put your hand in mine Yeah, we are one step closer And the walls are looking pretty good. I'm making sure to do the corners, to do the shelf on the niche, and then I will finish up with the floors. Just spray, scrub, rinse, and wipe so I can move on to the vanity. I can get all the products back in there. And I didn't put the bench back in today, but I am going to keep it in there on a regular basis since there really isn't a whole lot of floor space in this bathroom to begin with. It does help a little bit. And then of course, I'm using Windex on the shower door, inside, outside. I did use a little more paper towel than I would like to in this video just since I could only find one of my microfiber towels which is so weird because I have so many.
and this is another new product that i forgot to do a product close-up for you sometimes if i'm just like in the groove of cleaning i like forget i'm filming a video but this is by i believe the brand is the laundress and they have products for what you would think for laundry but they also have a few other products as well so this is a multi-surface like everyday cleaner and i really love it it smells so good it works like a typical multi-surface cleaner but the scent is just like a fancy hotel so i will link it if you want to try it i ordered it on amazon because it just has like so many amazing reviews and i've really been enjoying it and now here's my playroom mess i'm going to really quickly pick these things up and organize all of the little cars and whatnot vacuum and then move on from here And the playroom is all vacuumed and cleaned up so i'm going to go vacuum the other main areas the kitchen the dining room the hallway and i didn't mop in the video because we ended up running the robot vacuum and mop in the corner over there i shared it in a video um, a couple weeks ago by ecovacs i really love that i typically will run um a robot vacuum like at the end of the day if the house is clean while i'm giving forest a bath if i just need the floors done then i will use it but if the floors are like really really dirty like they were today then i will do it by hand and i love that for everyday mopping it only takes water so it's just really easy to use but yes i am vacuuming by hand today vacuuming the rug and then i'm going to leave all of the rugs just folded up like this since we were going to mop i just wanted them out of the way All right, so kitchen dining room is good to go. That little back door area is good to go. I don't think I'm going to have a runner over there for forever. I don't know. I don't want to do just like a doormat right there, but I also need something. So give me any tips or ideas if you have them. And now I'm going to vacuum working my way up the stairs. I do need to wipe down the white part of the stairs. I just didn't have time today, but that's another thing on my never ending list. All right, so as you can tell, this bathroom belongs to the man of the house, as I like to call Forrest. Some toys in the tub and then a lot of stuff on the vanity because I have yet to organize that actual vanity. There's almost nothing down there. So I'm going to spray and wipe down the tub and then I will get an organizer to put all of those products in. I know it's a little bit crazy in here. Um, so yeah, spraying down that sink as well. And then this is an organizer for the home edit for Walmart collection that I love and rave about all the time. Just adding all the products in here before I put those underneath the vanity. And I was thinking, where is his shower curtain? I just realized haven't hung it. Here it is. So I need to get a shower bar 
for this room. Still needs so much stuff, but we will get there scrubbing the tub down and then wiping it down and I will wipe down the tile as well. If I had to pick one bathroom to clean, it's always this one because at this age, it's pretty quick and easy to deal with. Putting the little foam fish back on the faucet, getting a new roll of toilet paper, I will vacuum, I will mop, pick up the towels, and then this one is pretty much good to go as well. The next room we are going to take care of is Forest's room. Still pretty makeshift in here. I wanted to wash his sheet and then I realized I should wash his mattress cover as well. I will get all of these pillows up and in the crib so that I can vacuum in here and just deal with the floor space very quick and easily. And I told you that we have a full-size mattress for when he's ready for his big boy bed, but he forgot he can crawl out of his crib. It is seriously a miracle. So I think we're gonna be able to use this for a little while longer, hopefully like a few more months. I just, I don't want to rush the stage of getting into a big boy bed because I know once it comes, there's no going back. I have some clothes to put away. I really need to deal with um, his closet, but that is a task for another day because it's just going to take too long. I have a lot of his everyday clothes out and then I still have a lot of his stuff and boxes in there. So right now is after nap time if you're wondering like what time of day it is and while Forrest was napping I asked Chad to go to the grocery store he got a bunch of groceries for the week and he also grabbed me some microfiber towels so that is how I finally have another one he did not get white but hey I will take what I can get it's like a random pack of colors and I just put water on it wiped down the crib wiped down um, his dresser and some shelves just to dust them lightly finally vacuuming now and then in just a few seconds we will move on to the guest room which is also super makeshift right now. And all I'm trying to do in this guest room is just pick it up a little bit and make sure the floor is cleared off. So I'm going to fold some blankets, stack some pillows. I'm not actually making the bed because as you can see, it's not fully put together. The headboard's up, but the sides are not attached. So just want to clean it up a little. We have some appointments coming up in the house. We have someone actually coming this afternoon to measure for either shades or blinds, whatever I decide. So they need to be able to get around and not be stepping over all of our stuff.
I'm going to vacuum in here and then I'm not going to say this room is good to go, but it's fine for now. I have to remind myself like all of this stuff takes time because you know, I would just love to have it all decorated and set up that white cabinet wrapped in, I don't even know what's called that, I guess just plastic wrap. Um, that's right by the door. That is all of our accessories for the Cricut machine and it is super heavy. So we need to find somewhere to put that. I'm going to fold a little more laundry. I just washed and dried our bedding. So I'm going to put that back on a little bit later. And then right here I have some towels and t-shirts, all of the other white items that were in the same load. I'm going to fold these and then I'm going to leave it here for now, I figured we'll just put all of this laundry away at the same time later. And that is going to be just about everything I had time for today. The last two things I do are vacuum this laundry room and then mop the floor. It's felt, some of the tile has felt a little bit like kind of dusty from the new construction stuff. So I'm trying to keep on top of that. That way we don't track it all over the house. And then I'm going to be finished for the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you are working with me, you were able to get so much done. I always have a playlist down below for my cleaning videos. Guys, there's like at least 150. There are so many. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you. I have so much house content coming up and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.